Okay, so starting with our usual warm up. Mountain pose, feet hip width apart, sitting bones down, ribs in and up, shoulders relaxed and crowned to the ceiling. Just everything stacked so the bones can support you and just let your muscles relax. Keep stretching up through your spine. Get the circulation going a little bit more. Deep breaths, letting your belly move out and in. And relax through your shoulders. Keep breathing. And lengthening. And then inhaling, bring your arms up to shoulder level. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch your arms way out to the front, keeping your shoulders down. And then hands behind you, fingertips clasped, lift your heart, stretch your head back. And exhale over. So hands toward the ceiling, head toward your legs. You can tuck your chin in and move your head around to get the neck releasing. Lift your sitting bones if you want to stretch the back of your legs along the hamstring, maybe a little bit more. And just keep relaxing as deep as you'd like. Don't forget to breathe. And then with your knees bent and your chin in, lift your ribs, sitting bones toward the floor, and wind your way slowly up, unwinding your spine, and into an upper body back bend. So heart high, shoulders down, head back. And just keep lengthening along the whole spine. Spread your toes, no gripping. And then inhale upright, release your arms, and take a moment just feeling the circulation starting to improve. So again, lengthen from your feet all the way up to the crown. Inhale and hands to shoulder level. Exhale, bring your hands to your chest, elbows a little bit back, opening your heart. Stretch to the front, shoulders down, and exhale, hands behind. Clasp the opposite way so the other fingers are on the outside. Heart toward the ceiling, head stretching back, and pivot at the hips, coming over, coming into the forward bend, letting things release and relax. And again, a couple breaths here, letting the back stretch, especially through that lower back area, hands toward your head. And then inhaling, work your way slowly up, shoulders drop, chest rises, head stretches back and away into that upper body for a little back bend. And again, inhale upright, release your arms, take a moment just feeling your circulation, Noticing how your body is responding this morning. And inhaling, arms out to the side, shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling. Bring your arms over your shoulders, shoulders still down away from your ears. Pass, pass your hands and clasp them. And then pull your arms back by your ears, shoulders down, sitting bones down. You lean to one side for that lateral spine motion. Ribs stretching apart, let them maximize by pushing the foot on the side you're leaning away from down and out through your hands and your head. And then inhale, put your hands for the other ones in front, and again, pull your arms by your ears. Stretch your spine apart and lean to the other side without twisting. And again, just maximize, push the foot down, the hands and head out. Make sure that top shoulder doesn't lean forward. You want to get those ribs opening nice and spread apart. And then again, inhale upright and exhale back to mountain. Take a moment to get grounded into your feet. Lengthen up through your spine. And again, arms to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, arms over your shoulders. Clasp your elbows this time for our twist. So. Knees a little bent if you'd like. Stretch from your sitting bones down and your crown up. Your spine spread apart for your twist. Lengthen on a breath in and exhale either direction to twist. Keep the weight on both feet. Stretch up another breath in and on the exhale, pivot on over. So come as deep into your forward bend as you want. Just relax. Maybe a little bit. And with 
the weight on both feet, staying in your twist, work your way up, make sure your upper body for this back bend, so chest high, don't be too intense in that lower back while it's twisting, elbows back, kind of look up, keep the shoulder blades toward your waist. And then on a breath in, come up and exhale to the center, switch your arms around, pull them back by your ears, and again, stretch your spine apart and exhale into the other direction. Lengthen it in and over. And again, just as deep into your forward bend on this side. Again, seeing if you can keep the weight even on both feet. Just relaxing as deep into your forward bend as your body wants. Take a breath. Exhale tension. And then staying in your twist more, work your way up and into the upper body back bend. Pull your elbows back, lift your heart high, and just be gentle with that lower body. And on an inhalation, come up, exhale to the center. Arms above your shoulders, keep the shoulders down. We're going to pivot right at the top of the thighs and come into that parallel to the floor stretch. Keep your arms by the ears if you can. Stretch out through the top of your head, back through your sitting bones, lengthen, and then just drop into ragdoll. So sitting bones lift for those low hamstrings on the legs to get a little bit longer. And just deepen as much or as little as your body wants into that forward bend. And then slide your hands up under your knees on your shins, flatten your back again. Maximize that lengthening. You can tuck your chin and get the back of your neck getting a good stretch too. And then again, exhale, release, and do your wind up, slowly coming back all the way to standing. So mountain pose, just feel that midsection of your body. We want to focus on the solar plexus today. So between your ribs, beneath your sternum, above your navel, that midpoint of your belly. So just focus there as we work. This is the energy, energizing, empowering center for the yoga energy system. So it's gonna heat you up a little bit today. So kind of think about drawing it back and then pressing it forward, just as you're standing there in mountain pose, just getting that core activated a little bit more. And we're going to do most of our work on the floor today, so hopefully my camera's positioned for that. So go ahead and inhale your arms overhead, swan dive forward, and then drop down into child's pose on the mat. Hips back on your heels, hands next to your feet, forehead toward the mat. Just get yourself a good stretch. So the more your knees are together, the more your low back gets the stretch. The more your knees are separated, the easier it is to breathe. So make your choices. <clears throat> and then inhaling, sit up and let's go all the way to our backs. So bring your feet to the end of the mat, sitting bones connected. So focus on that solar plexus core, and we're going to use that core just to slowly wind your way down onto your back. So coming onto the floor, just allow your body to take a moment for reclined integration while I see if my headset's going to stay on. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is press your lower back down. So sitting bones slightly toward your heels, just lengthen through that sacrum lower back area, and then bend your knees and bring your heels in near your hips, feet flat. And then keep that sitting bone area sliding toward your heels so your back gets connected toward the mat. And just relax. Hands can be next to your sides, palms up or down, or if you like them out to the sides, that's okay too. So go ahead and just find your comfortable position. We're going to first strengthen the lower back a little bit. So go ahead and roll your sitting bones toward the floor as you lift your ribs so that from your shoulder blades to your sitting bones, you're arched up in a back bend. And this is a back strengthener. 
It's good for people with low back issues. So do it as much or as little as your body needs. And then as you exhale, pull your whole spine down to the floor as you slide those sitting bones back toward your heels. And then inhaling, ribs up, rolling into that back bend. Exhaling, pressing down. Just feeling that core getting a little bit more work as you go into that forward bend. And feeling that arch up as you breathe into the back bend. So exhaling, rounding a little bit forward, core contracting. Inhaling, lengthening through the front as that back of your body arches up. So just a few more times. This is a good one to do in the morning, just kind of to energize your spine and get things moving. And it works the core, it gives you a little tone for the day to support your body. And then release back to neutral and bring your hands out to T position. So you can have your hands, palms up or down, it doesn't matter. You're gonna keep that lower back press down and then bring one leg up and flex it and then bring the other one up and flex it and get your body as perpendicular as you can. So the sitting bones are going toward the end of your mat and the legs are going as straight up to the ceiling as you can. Bottoms of your feet just pressing evenly up through the base of the toes and the heels. So you're pivoting right at the top of the thigh at that hip joint and you're bringing your ribs down toward the floor, that core solar plexus area down to the floor for good support. And then we're going to move the legs. So this is going to be as much or as little as you want. So if you exhale, just bring one leg flex foot down as close to the floor, but not touching as you can. Keep pushing out through that bottom of your foot. And then inhale and bring it back up. And exhale and do the other leg. So again, as close toward the floor as it wants to go. Press out, hold it a moment, breathe it, and inhale back toward the ceiling. So do that a few more times allowing your body to go through that range of motion as slowly and methodically. Remember, yoga is a personal practice and it involves that inner connection so that you're paying attention as your body makes its movement. So go as fast or as slow as it feels right for your body. And we'll only do a few since we only have a half hour to do our practice. So just come back up with both feet to the ceiling. And then we're going to do both feet together. So again, you can have your hands palms up with the shoulders and shoulder blades down, or you can turn the palms down, which will give you a little more stability. So remember, if you need to bend your knees, you can do that. If you don't want to go too far toward the floor, you don't have to. Personal practice. So just breathing, slowly bring those feet as close toward the floor as they want to go. Push out through the bottom of your feet and inhale coming back up. And just a couple of times of that, just focusing on the core, breathing, maximizing or minimizing, doing what's right for your body as you go through that range of motion. Again, feet stay flexed. Focus on keeping that whole lengthening process through your legs. And then you can either bring your legs down together or you can bend your knees and put your feet to the floor and slide your legs out. We're going to bring the arms overhead, stretch long through your body, kind of push those sitting bones toward your heels, bringing that lower back closer toward the floor and then inhaling, bring your arms right above your shoulders, straight up toward the ceiling and then focus on your heart center, middle of your heart and lead that as you pull your body up and into a seated position and maybe reach for your toes and find yourself back seated on the mat. And we're going to come up onto hands and knees. So go ahead, knees under your hips, wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up. So remember, you want that core activated supporting your low back. So bottom ribs up toward your low back, getting that core support. and just maybe a little bit toward your thumbs so that you can feel that upper body straight along your spine. So it's flat across your back as feels good for you. 
Solar plexus is still our focus. So bring your solar plexus down toward the floor into the back bend. As you lift your sitting bones, rotate your face forward, crown up towards the ceiling. So a back bend is deep or as not deep as you want. And then exhale, pull the solar plexus up, keeping your spine rounding as your sitting bones and your top of your head go toward the floor. Angry cat arch. And keep that solar plexus as your focus as you breathe into it. Inhaling, rolling into the back bend. Exhaling, rolling up. Keeping that solar plexus as the highest point that you're working both down into the back bend and up into the forward bend. So maximize. Now this one you can do slowly so that you can keep your focus on what your body is doing in your yoga frame of mind. Or if you're good with that, you can go faster and get it a little bit more energized because remember, the empowerment center is also the heat center of the yoga energy system. So do what's right for your body, either slow or fast. Keep that solar plexus in focus as you go through this cat sequence. And then come back to neutral. Sink your hips back to your heels. Circle your wrists a few times. And just relax, extended child's pose. Shoulders relaxing, hips releasing, and belly just soft. And then again, inhaling, sitting up on your heels. Bring your legs out in front. And again, to the end of the mat. So sitting bones connect, spine stacked for support, core again activated, and roll all the way onto your back. So see if you can feel each bone moving into place as you go down. And again, a little reclined integration, just relaxing there on the mat for a moment aligning and allowing your body to do what it needs to. We're going to press that low back down, sliding the sitting bones toward your heels, and again, bend your knees, heels in near your hips, feet flat. Knees straight up, so you're kind of rolling in at the top of the thighs to keep that alignment, so that hips, knees, ankles, toes are all aligned. Slide those sitting bones again toward your heels, to get that back a little bit more connected. And then we're gonna focus on the heart center and turn your palms up so the shoulders stay relaxed and lift your upper body just a little bit off the floor and reach for your heels. And then exhale and come back down. And we're gonna do that a few times. Heart center, not your head, lead. So lift your chest first and reach your hands for the heel. There's a little contraction through that midsection and releasing. And again, heart lifting, pressing towards the toes and releasing. And most times we don't do a lot of repetitions in yoga, but with the abs, that's one thing that you can do a few more rep repetitions on because you want to be getting that core strengthened. But we're gonna just release, and again, a little reclined integration, shoulders and shoulder blades down. Feel the heat building in that midsection. Always going to be a little bit more intense when we focus there. Now we're gonna do something similar, but we're gonna do that lateral spine motion this time. So we're going to be reaching just one side toward the heel as we come up. But again, we're still going to be lifting from that heart center. So sitting bones toward your heels, back connected, heart center focus, hands, palms up, and lift your heart and reach for your heel or your toes on one side. And then back to the center. You can release back down or you can stay up. And we're going to do that a few times again. So heart leading if you're coming up and down and toes as your focus reaching your fingers to one side. So we're contracting through that one side, working the oblique, and stretching the ribs apart on that opposite side. So either up and down and stretch, or just stay up 
and stretch a few more times. And then when you're aligned, just exhale back down and relax, shoulders down. Feel the side we worked contracting. It's going to be a little bit more activated, so you know what we have to do. Yep, balance the body, working the other side. So again, <clears throat> sitting bones towards your heels, get that back connected, heart center focus, hands, palms up. Inhale up and exhale into your stretch. And again, you can go back down when you get to the center and lift the heart again, coming up. You want to make sure that back of your neck is still kind of in line with the spine, not chin toward your chest. Don't want to overwork the back of your neck as we're in this position. Remember, the heart is lifting. It's not your head. Breathing, maximizing, just reaching for those toes as much on that other side, feeling the stretch on the side you're moving away from. And then when you're centered, again, exhale and release back down. Shoulder, shoulder blades down. Just take a moment to breathe. You can do that arching up and pressing down. If you need a little release through that lower back and spine. And then coming into your Neutral position, again, just take a moment, reclined integration. <clears throat> so again, sitting bones toward your heels, back connected. And remember, checking to make sure your hips, knees, and heels and toes are lined up. You can have your hands in T position this time. I'm running into the wall. Okay, so slide those sitting bones down, get the back connected, and we're going to bring the feet either together or one at a time up toward the ceiling. And again, flex your heels. So the pivot is at the top of the thighs. You're in that 90 degree angle position. So this time we're going to work those obliques again a little bit more. So leading with your heart, come up and reach across for your foot, ankle, toes, wherever, and then back down. Chest rises, reach across, and release back down. So as you're doing this, you want to keep the 90 degree angle, you want to keep those feet parallel to the floor, pushing up evenly, and you want to be rising each time through the heart as you reach across. So coming into that side stretch, Working those obliques and lifting, working through the core, the abdominals, helping to keep those legs perpendicular. So just breathe, exhaling up, inhaling down, each time working across one side to the other side. And then settling back down, spine on the floor, shoulders and shoulder blades down, heels still flexed. We're going to again slowly lower those legs to the mat. And when they get all the way down, corpse position for just a little reclined integration. So go ahead and soften through the core. Keep breathing. Keep adjusting so that you are releasing whatever might be tense and tight. And then we're going to, yeah, we're going to work into our twist position, letting the body release and balance for our preparation for our meditative relaxation. So go ahead and slide your heels again toward your hips. And bend your knees, heels coming in, or you can keep the spine pressing down and lift both legs up towards the ceiling. If you bent your knees, you can just bring them one at a time or both up towards the ceiling. So we're going to twist by pendulum, moving the legs over to one side. If that's going to be too much, bend your knees. You don't have to keep them straight. And you're going to have your hands palms up or a little more stability, hands palms down. Shoulders and shoulder blades connecting. Keep that 
kind of 90 degree angle with your body and just roll the knee or the feet to one side turn your head looking toward the other side you can keep those legs slightly off the floor if you want a little more intensity or you can bring them all the way down if you just want to twist <clears throat> so remember the more the legs get toward or all the way on the floor the more that lower back is twisted the more your shoulders shoulder blades stay down your middle back is twisted and the more you turn your head toward that arm behind you, your neck and shoulder are twisted. So minimize wherever you need to. And then either pull your heels toward your hips and roll onto your back or bring your feet back up to center. If your feet are down, just again, slide the sitting bones toward the end of the mat, spine connected, and bring your feet up for our other twist. So again, maximize that, pressing the heels up towards the ceiling. And when you're ready, bring those feet to the opposite side. Turn your head the other direction so that you're looking behind you. Shoulders and shoulder blades down. Feet either near the floor or on the floor, your choice. And breathe. And again, maximize or minimize, depending on what your spine needs. This is personal practice. Any spine issues, you want to minimize and relax in the twist only as far as your body should go. And again, working your way back up to center or heels toward your hips to bring your feet back. And if your legs are up, just go ahead and release them down. Bring your hands near your hips, palms up. And just take a moment to feel that twist energy through your spine, through your body. Maybe notice your head getting a little activated for our relaxation meditation. So go ahead and just release that midsection, that core solar plexus and abdominal area. Let it relax. Just kind of roll your legs in a little from the top of the thighs so the knees and toes stay up. Or you can let them just relax a little bit more out to the side, but not too far. Hands, palms up near your hips, shoulders and shoulder blades releasing down. And just take a moment to breathe and relax. So just allow your body to soften, sinking into that surface beneath you. And let your belly move with the breath. Deep inhalations. Letting the belly rise, the whole diaphragm, pressing everything out of the way so your lungs can expand fully. Exhaling, diaphragm pushing all the breath, the toxins, everything out as your belly sinks. And just close your eyes and focus inward. Scan through your body. If anything is tense and tight, just tighten it a little bit more and hold your breath there. And then as you exhale, let it go. Just allow each part of your body to soften and sink. Your body growing heavier, deepening into its earthbound connection. Breathing deep. Exhaling to release it. Relaxing completely, all parts of your body. Lower body relaxed, the upper body released. Belly soft, just allowing your body to sink into that earth embrace. Fully supported, let it go. As your body relaxes, just release thoughts of your body from your mind. And as those thoughts release, know that other thoughts will come to you. It's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. So let the thoughts release as easily as your breath. No need to pay attention to the content of the thoughts. No need to remember the past. No need to anticipate the future. Let the thoughts drift as easily as your body relaxes into that earth embrace. And as your body drifts deep into that core support of the earth, 
and your mind rises and drifts as easily as your breath flowing in and out. Just allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind. Allow the awareness to seek that peace within. Let the peace fill your body. Peace fill your mind. Just a being of peace. And always, if you'd like to keep relaxing, feel free to do so. If you're ready to release and return to the moment, just allow your breath and awareness to bring the energy back into your body, into the room, into your being. Begin breathing more deeply and moving your body gently whenever you become ready. And now as you breathe and Move more deeply. You can give yourself a good stretch if you want to. Press your back down. Bend your knee. Draw your knees toward your heart. Give yourself that good appreciative yoga hug. Letting your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the body's work for you every day. And when you've had enough hug and appreciation, you can release that. Roll to the side or do another sit up if you're really still into your abs work today. So thanks for joining me. Hope that was energizing and relaxing and prepared you for what's ahead for you today. And join me next time we'll do something different. Thanks for joining me.